from Ruhi Akhtar and from Morpeth. Um, I have been born and brought up around here in Morpeth. Went to all the local schools. I went to Goose Hill and then I went to New Minister Middle School and I went to King Edward's um, High School as well. My family have been around in the area for quite a long time. They've been here for about 35 years. My dad does have a restaurant in the high street, Tando Mahal restaurant, um, which has been there for about over 35 years now. So we're pretty much local. Today I am here supporting a cause called Refugee Aid Network. We are a grassroots campaign that we started via social media really. We are based all around the northeast and we do have people campaigning in Canada, in London for us and supporting us as well. My particular project today is we've got a caravan which was donated by a, um, a group. We got it quite cheap and what we're doing is we're painting it. It is going to be housing a vulnerable refugee family with children in Calais. We are towing it over next weekend. Um, and we're also doing a collection because we're sending aid over to Syria, Aleppo in Syria. So it's a 40 foot container which is pretty substantial and we need to raise about £2,300 to send it over. And I've also got a message box here as well and I would really like people to maybe just thoughts, prayers, anything, quotes. Last time when some of our volunteers went on a convoy, people really liked the messages. Um, a lot of them can read English as well. Um, you know, one one gentleman apparently started crying when he was reading the messages, so that's really quite positive. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the extent of the need amongst uh, refugees? There is a huge need. I mean, the reason I really, really got interested in this was when the young boy did wash up on the Turkey waters. Um, there's a huge need. I mean, it's... It's almost unimaginable from what the volunteers have told me. I haven't been myself yet, but I will be going over. And you know, they're literally living on mud, water, water and mud and tents, and you know, they're being blown away and it's really cold at the moment. I mean, further apart, we've got Lebanon. The lions in Morpeth, um, they're actually doing a project to try and get 200 prosthesis for war children. There's 200 children without limbs that have come over from Syria into the Lebanon camps. Um, another thing to highlight is that you know people who say, well, why aren't they in camps next to them? Lebanon and those countries near to Syria are full. You know, people are drowning in sort of going over to Greece, and obviously we've got Calais, which is closest to us. Um, so there is a lot of projects that can be done around there. I mean, I personally, I'm in the medical field, so I would like to maybe help with sea aid, go over, do some wound care, things like that. Can you tell us a little bit about the sort of support that you've had um, already from Morpeth? Right, I have to say that Morpeth has been absolutely amazing. I went to a meeting a couple of weeks ago and there was about 25 people there. There was councillors, the mayor was there, uh, the deputy mayor was there, we had the Rotary Club, we had the Lions, and we had other individuals who wanted to help the refugees. Um, and then we've got Kevy, we've got Sheila Clark from Kevy who I've been communicating with, we've got some of the children coming down. It actually has been quite humbling really that people actually really want to help. And have you set yourself an overall financial target or is it just to get as much as you can? For this, um, I'm over ambitious but I would like to raise £1,000 over today and tomorrow. We do have a Just Giving page where we were hoping to raise £3,000. We've already got almost 2000 on there already. Um, I did like a birthday campaign thing where I got people to donate for my birthday as a donation and then I did a raffle draw kind of thing at the end. So £3,000 but you know the world's the limit really because the more we raise the more aid we can get out and the more projects we can do.